Welcome to WebGoat's A1 spoofing an authentication cookie. Our task here is to try to decode the method used to encrypt a cookie, and then recreate a cookie with our own data injected, thus allowing us to spoof authentication. Before we get into the module, I want to briefly touch on some technologies used. First, what is an authentication cookie and how is it used? An authentication cookie is some form of identifiable data to a specific user or session, which is then encoded into a token that the browser saves upon authenticating. It's most often a user ID or a username with an added salt which is encrypted through a method like base64 or hex encoding. Once the user re-authenticates, if this cookie is sent with the request, the server will decode it and return whatever the user is asking for, as long as the token decodes to a recognized or expected value. Second, what is encoding? There is a later module on encoding, so I won't go into too much detail, but encoding is basically taking a string of data and changing each character to a different value, and is predictable, allowing for decoding later on. An encoded string can be encoded again, and again, and again, using different methods of encoding if you choose. Now that we know these two things, let's get into the module. First, the system provides some notes on the login system. It lets us know that when an authentication cookie is sent, the system will log the user directly in if the cookie is valid. If a cookie is not sent, but credentials provided are correct, the system will create its own authentication cookie and then send it back to the browser. If neither of these things are true, the login will be denied. We can also see here that it provides us with two credentials to log in with, webgoat slash webgoat and admin slash admin. So now, just like the first two modules, let's open our burp suite interceptor and turn on intercept. Now, go back to webgoat and it doesn't actually matter what credentials you use to log in here, but log in and go back to burp suite so you can hit forward a couple of times to find the request we're looking for, in this case, the login endpoint. Once you find the request, go ahead and send it to the repeater and turn off intercept. Now let's refer back to the two sets of credentials that were provided within webgoat. First, we're gonna send a request with the login credentials of webgoat. You'll notice that in the response, you'll receive a spoof auth token. Put this in your notes so we can refer back to it in a minute. Now go ahead and change the username and password to those of the admin user and resend the request. Once again, you'll see a new spoof auth token in the response. Before we continue, I want to note that you can run the request as many times as you like and you'll receive the same token for the same user every single time. Now if you go into your notes where you saved the two cookies, you can actually see that they both follow base64 encoding patterns. So let's decode the tokens. I put a link in the description to this website where we're going to copy and paste one of the cookies and put it into the decode field. Click the decode option and you should see in the response a new string of letters and numbers. This may look confusing at first, but if you separate out each two characters with the space, you can see this comes back as a hex value. So now that we know that we have a hex code, we can go decode it with a hex decoder. I also have a link in the description to this website where we're going to copy and paste the token from the last screen into the left side of the screen. You should see on the right side some random string of letters and then webgo spelled backwards. So now we know how they are encoding these values. Go ahead and copy and paste this value into a string reverser, and then replace the word webgoat with Tom. Once you have this new token, go ahead and reverse it again and send it back to the hex decoder, but this time paste it on the right side so that it encodes it instead of decoding it. Now we have our hex encoded string, and the last step is to send it to the base64 encoder. Go back to the base64 website and click the encode option. Paste your new hex value into the top box, but make sure you remove the spaces between each value. Click the encode button and you'll see on the bottom you'll have your new spoof off token. The last step is just to go back into Burp Suite and resend the request with this new token. This will allow us to authenticate as Tom. And there you have it. So congratulations, you've successfully decoded and re-encoded your own authentication cookie. Thank you for watching.